Hey there everyone, how's it going? I'm the Fletch back here. Um, just wanted to take a minute of your time. I'll let you guys know what's going on out there. Um, I came across this uh, article I was going through my medical journals that I read. And uh, apparently they had discovered some, they call them zombie genes just to get the hype out there. Uh, pretty much what happens is uh, the as your body dies, there's still genes that are getting activated, and I guess they finally discovered these. Uh, pretty much, now they are accurately able to determine the time of death uh, very precisely. Uh, they, I think they tested over 7,000 animals. Uh, I believe it was zebra fish and mice, mainly. Uh, but that being said, they were accurate. They were able to get it usually within the hour which is very interesting from now on because if this does get into the human scale that does mean that anytime there is a death we can accurately tell when it happened uh, which I believe could be a huge uh, thing for the CSI any crime scene investigative stuff uh, but yeah I just thought it was uh, really interesting I'll go ahead and link uh, the article down in the description uh, but yeah, that means, it just means that we are now able to, because before we could only ever do it by how much decay there was on the body and how much, uh, like, the bugs and stuff around it, we had to go by that, but even then we could only get it within, like, say, half a day or something. Uh, but now that we're able to get it within the hour is rather interesting because we're now able to basically say like oh said person died at 3 a.m. instead of uh, sometime in the night so it's just another interesting thing they discovered um, and I know the art the article is gonna sound kind of weird because it's like zombie genes found after death that become activated and unfortunately we're still very far away from zombies so I know all you zombie lovers out there, you're going to have to wait just a little bit longer. Uh, or those waiting for the zombie apocalypse, still going to have to wait a little bit longer. Um, but anyway, I just figured I would uh, share this with you guys. The link will be in the description. Um, wow, totally, totally hooped you up, that guy. Um, but yeah, pretty much, I guess, in short there are several genes that become activated after death the mRNA then thereby goes to those genes and pretty much they I guess start transmitting stuff to help the body decay itself uh, they're not too sure exactly what the genes do that would just be my guess um, from it and pretty much uh, some of them become very, very active at, like within 24 hours of the body dying and others become very active a day or two later so that's where the data can come in as long as it's a fairly fresh specimen they can generally act uh, generally I guess actually I want to say generally precisely predict when the body actually died uh, which will be a huge improvement to what we're doing now so I just wanted to take a moment of your time uh, but you guys know that science is still working, even if humanity seems to uh, be destroying itself. And, uh, yeah, you know, the scientists are still working out there. Uh, they haven't quite lost their minds yet. So, there is some faith in humanity, if you will. I don't know how much exactly is left after all the messed up news we're seeing lately. Uh, around the world but anyway uh, hope you guys enjoy uh, link will be in the description don't forget to hit, leave a comment for your chance of this month's giveaway and I will see you in the next episode take care everyone have a great weekend